mother-in-law who's related to the princess who has been end of the story becomes related to the duke. It's kind of complicated. It happened once upon a the Elevated will be taking all comers in the annual jousting tournament, if any of you are up for the challenge, which I know you aren't. Thank you, Novak. Remember, lads, this is the training that could save your life when facing a Rhubarbarian. Watch out for yourself. There's not a nice one among them. Soup's ready. It's water soup. <laughs> Again. Mm-hmm. With water sauce. <laughs> sweet, sweet, Petunia. You have been so kind to me all these years. And you to me, Mother. In law? Yes, I know. But you've been just like a mother to me, Nona. Well, if it isn't the Rue Barbarian. Go back to your own kingdom, Rue Barbarian! Nona, I don't really seem to fit in since our arrival here in Scone. We've become very poor, and everyone is rather mean to me here. Sweet, sweet, Petunia, could you get that apple for me? Of course. Soon. It's that new surf music. Lucas, why are we taking this path back home? We don't have to check on my orchards. 
Harvest was last week. I told you this morning, sire. Uh, Nona has moved back to town, and she wanted you to stop by. Nona? My second cousin? Yeah, twice removed. Oh, look! Uh, there she is now! Wow! Nona sure has... changed. Uh, sire, Nona is the short one. Oh, well then, who's the tall, kind one? Uh, that would be Petunia. Uh, but, sire, I advise you not to have anything to do with her. After all, she is a rhubarbarian. Oh, pish posh, Lucas. The war is old news. Look how kind she is. Why, Duke, Duke, what a surprise. Why, hello, Nona. It's good to see you. By the way, have I introduced you to sweet, sweet Petunia? She has been caring for me since our return. Oh, Duke, Duke. Nona has told me so much about you. Uh, soup? Well, there's not much, but we will gladly share it with you. Why, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, excuse no, I'm, me. I, I'm such an oaf. L let me make it up to you. What do you need, my lady? Anything at all? Oh, nothing really, sire. Yes, especially since we live in the tree stump with no food to speak of. We don't need anything. Nothing at all. Sire, love and war. Remember the war? Nonsense. The least I can do is let you gather leftover apples from my orchards here. You can take whatever you like. Oh, I thank you. You really are too kind, Duke. Duke. Oh, no need for formality. You can call me Duke. <laughs> oh, bye, Duke. Duke. I mean, Duke. <laughs> bye bye, sweet, sweet Petunia. Uh, sire, you are getting rather friendly with that foreign girl. Uh, you know how the citizens of Scone are toward anyone being friendly to a rhubarbarian. Ah, Lucas, you're overreacting. For Duke, the people of Scone are turning against you for showing kindness for Petunia. No, no, that, that's nonsense. I'm sure that was just an accident. No, it wasn't! How many rhubarbarians does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many rhubarbarians... Uh, what's a light bulb? I don't know. But if I did, I'm sure it would not change my negative opinion of rhubarbarians. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better go. Things will only get worse for you if you're seen with me. No, no, things will be fine. I'll be... Oh! Oh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, you dropped your hat. You know me. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, are you oh, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Missed the door. <laughs> Bye. I got my hat now. <laughs> oh, she is somewhat clumsy for a princess, no? What? Petunia is a princess? But it goes. Excuse me, Nona. I don't mean to pry, but if Petunia is a princess, why are you two so poor? It's complicated. I'll explain later. Um, it kind of is later. Oui. Let's go to the book. Page! It all started before the Great Pie War. As you know, I once had a husband. The brave and noble Gildersleeve the Invincible. And we had a son, Ryan. The only slightly less invincible. Oh, did I mention that my son Ryan, noble citizen of Scone, married sweet, sweet Petunia, the princess of Rhubarb? What? Petunia's married? No, hold on to your horses. There's more. You see, when our son married the Rhubarbarian princess, we all went to live in Rhubarb. But before we left, Gildersleep provided for his brother by giving him half of the golden crest. It was the key to his castle. Half? Why don't you just come out and say you don't trust me? All right, I don't trust you. The other half was the key to the great vault. This he kept for me. Then things got bad. The armies of Rhubarb went to war against the kingdom of Scone. The great high war has begun. As you know, Gildersleeve and Ryan were neither invincible nor slightly less invincible. Wow, I never knew. But why didn't you stay in the kingdom of Rhubarb if Petunia was a princess? Page! Petunia's family welcomed her, but not me. 
To them, I was the enemy. But Petunia was so compassionate to me. She sacrificed living as a princess to come and take care of me. Wow, you're right. How's that? This is complicated. So, you're forced to live in a tree stump because of Gildersleeve's brother. He only looks out for himself. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do to help you get the other half of that crest. No, no. Bye, Duke. Voila! <laughs> oh, Petunia! Sorry, Nona. I'll get dinner right away. How's apple fricassee? Fine, dear. But first, I have something for you. I want you to have this. You need it more than I do. But, Nona, the key to the vault? Oh, this is too great a treasure. I... Can never repay me? Well, I think Duke will help you with that. Duke? What does Duke have to do with anything? You just give it to him and ask him to joust for you in the tournament. Give it to Duke? Trust me, dear. Oh! Oh, P Petunia, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Tell him you think he's nice. I... Nice. Oh. You sure are. Y you're really nice. You're one of the nicest people I know. Tell him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Duke, uh, I think you're nice too. You do? Well, I, uh, now, I. Now, the crest. What's this? I want you to joust for me at the tournament to win the other half of the crest from Gildersleeve's brother. What? The family. Mention the family. If, if Gildersleeve's brother won't look out for family, you must. Me? For you? Well, you're known as second cousin. Twice removed. Duke, I know this is a lot to ask, but I want... Ahem. Uh, I need you to joust for me. Well then, yes! Yes? Yes, of course I'll joust for you. I'd do anything for you, Petunia. Even if I had to joust Otis the Elevated. By the way, who is Gildersleeve's brother anyway? Otis the Elevated. Otis, I've come to challenge you to a joust. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> A joust? Winner gets both halves of the duck. Both halves, huh? If you won't take care of family, I will. You think I got where I am by looking out for others? Looking out for others is for saps! <laughs> no, looking out for others is true love. <laughs> I've seen you train. You're on! <laughs> Ladies, lords, and peasants, we are gathered to witness a contest between Otis the Elevated and Duke Duke. The winner gets the golden crest to Gildersleeve's castle with all the treasure that lies within. And if they act now, we'll include this lovely set of Ginsu knives. The contest shall consist of three tests worthy of a knight. First, the implausibly arduous obstacle course of peril. By right of elevation, Otis the Elevated shall go first. Oh, 
Wait, he's up! Uh, no, wait, he's up! Look! He's gonna make it this time! Time worst, 67 seconds. It's not looking too good for Duke. And now, the hurling catapults of slime. To see who's the smartest, the editor of Costello will ask a riddle. The first to solve it sends his opponent into a bucket of slime. <laughs> There are three members of the royal family with strange names. Sir Who, Prince What, and Lady I Don't Know. They want to board a ferry to cross a treacherous river. Taking into account their rank, what would be the reverse order in which they should board the ferry? Wait, you, you want to know who's on first? Correct. Next. What? Absolutely correct. And third? I don't know. Correct. Wait, who went third? Wrong. <laughs> Actually tied Otis. There will be a third contest: the joust with the pies of doom. A head-to-head -head competition to prove who is the best. You are going to lose everything. Sire, no one would blame you if you backed out now. After all, she is a Rue Barbarian. Go back to your own kingdom, Rue Barbarian! Think about it. Are you really willing to take a pie for Petunia? Lucas, she has no family to look out for her. I have to think of her first. For Petunia! For family! Folks. You are lucky, Duke, but watch out for yourself this time! No, Otis, I'm looking out for someone else first. That's true love! That's crazy! Take care of you forever. Family? Forever? I now pronounce you Duke and Duchess. You may now join the halves of the duck. Gold? Oh, 
Oh, excuse me. No, I, I, I can get it. No, no. Allow, allow me. Oh, oh, excuse me. I got it. Love, love, true, true love. The country spirit is made of. We iterate our thing. Now so well rehearsed. True love's the kind of love that thinks of all this first. True love's the kind of love that